We talked the other day about how KISS had retired and played their final show at Madison Square Garden, and then immediately after, including within the arena, they played a video that announced they would be continuing as avatars. And so the other day I kind of briefly reacted to it, but I didn't fully understand what that would mean and how it would be executed. And in the time since, I've done a deep dive and I now have a much better understanding on what is going to occur going forward with KISS. I have specific details, including a 30-minute video that they've released talking about this where I gotta say, uh, if you're a hardcore KISS fan, it's worth watching that video because uh, I try to be fair and as kind of dystopian as I think this is, I also think that Paul and Gene dropped a lot of wisdom in the conversation they had and these are two highly intelligent individuals and uh, they have a lot of experience in music and uh, if you want an idea of where the music industry is going to be going, where live entertainment is going to be going, this video right here is for you because they are rolling out essentially cutting edge technology. There are a lot of smart people here that watch this channel and many of you commented saying this is going to be like ABBA and uh, you're exactly correct. For those of you who are not aware, ABBA plays these kind of shows with 3D avatars. But what is gonna be happening with KISS is gonna be even more advanced, and it is also going to be using artificial intelligence. They have confirmed this. Uh, crazy stuff with the technology, but first of all, let's look at what ABBA does. Here's a few images of that. So you can see here from The Guardian, where you have, those are, 3D avatars performing ABBA songs from the past. And uh, it's totally, it's already happening. It's totally live. These are the pictures of the avatars currently performing what is called ABBA Voyage. And uh, this is through their career. Those are avatars that are up on the stage. I'm not exactly familiar with how they're able to look sort of holographic. Maybe it's some sort of transparent screen, but you get the idea. This is what KISS is gonna look like and we're gonna get to KISS right now. So I found this company and Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley are apparently co-founders of this company and co-owners, it's called Pop House. And this is their press release on exactly what they're going to do. This is directly from the company that's gonna be making this happen. Very advanced company, I think they're from Europe. Uh, I think they might be from Switzerland. Um, but they're from Europe, they've partnered and formed this new company, but they're somehow associated with the same people who have done ABBA. And uh, I must say, look, the technology is impressive, but this is not a real performance, and uh, I know there are some real strong feelings about this, for sure, but this is what they're saying is going to happen, and man, some of the things that are being said about what they're gonna be able to do uh, including these figures on stage will be able to react in real time to the crowd. Someone shouts, I love you, Gene. Using AI, Gene can respond back and go, I love you back. They also say that they will be able to make every performance different, every movement of their bodies when they're on stage different using artificial intelligence and creating real time renderings from doing that. This is very complicated and super advanced for them to be able to do that. So it says, achieved through a partnership with Pop House Entertainment Group, the Swedish entertainment company renowned for its development of brand building enterprises in music and entertainment. Um, they will have plans for a new era of KISS in the near future, which will see avatars of the band perform for fans for decades to come. KISS experiments with um, special effects and staging, and so they're, they're moving in. The KISS avatars are created by George Lucas-founded visual effects company, Industrial Light and Magic, ILM, who showcase their unique creative expertise and artistry. As part of that discussion, I'm telling you about Gene Simmons says, quote, we can be forever young and forever iconic by taking us to places we've never dreamed of before. The technology is gonna make Paul jump higher than he's ever jumped before, Paul Stanley said, what we've accomplished has been amazing, but it's not enough. The band deserves to live on because the band is bigger than we are. Uh, it's exciting for us to go the next step and see KISS immortalized. I mean, we've spent 50 years building it to this point and working with ILM and working with Pop House. 
we're all sharing sort of, or we're all sharing this vision of taking Kiss to a completely different level beyond being just a music band. And we've always thought of ourselves as more than just a music band. Um, Pop House Entertainment Group is thrilled to embark on a transformative journey with Kiss and showcase to fans what is on the horizon as part of our future Avatar show. Our partnership will fuse the rich history and iconic statues of Kiss with cutting edge technology, allowing fans now and in the future to experience the band like never before. KISS played their final performances at Madison Square Garden, and it's hard not to notice that Madison Square Garden also owns the Sphere. And uh, this really looks like something that would be built and designed around the Sphere, where you have this huge visual display. Um, I believe that these shows are gonna take place at the Sphere in some capacity. Uh, considering the fact that you've also seen Fish, they were announced, they're just doing a four night. A lot of people go, they can't do this for months. They can't do this for months. I mean, we'll see. But uh, here's a little bit from that discussion with Kiss, some very brief excerpts that I thought were really interesting. You can just imagine you know, what we can do with technology today and then looking at the next two years using AI and using real-time rendering so you don't have to pre-render a, a video or film with you guys, right? It can happen real-time. So you can react to the audience when the audience is... I love you, Paul. You can actually tell, I love you too. You can say that. The idea that there can be interaction yeah. is, you know, clearly the logical next step. But to have them react to you reacting to them takes it to a whole nother level. And so now you have the band going into the room and they're kind of looking around. Paul's like, Gene, this way, dude. <laughs> um, you know, and also I liked how Paul and Gene, they kind of, they gave some respect to uh, Ace and Peter in this conversation as well. They did. Um, but uh, look at that. So these are, I mean, they're going to appear on stage. You can imagine the special effects that will come along with them, but this is what they're going to look like. We already knew, to be honest, we already knew that KISS, they've said for years that they're going to continue in some capacity. We've been known that. Uh, it was either going to be this or a band that... Um, looked like them, wore the makeup, you know, they pretty much acknowledge that. So this option is interesting. For me, the fact that they have retired and have played for 50 years, this is different than like, this is a new band to check out. They're totally animated. And uh, for me, I don't have a huge problem with this. For me, considering they've retired and they played their entire career, it's a little bit different. I really, if you're a big KISS fan and you're interested in this, go watch that 30 minute presentation they did where they do a really good job explaining, but also just as a KISS fan, they go through their history and they, they, you know, they have a lot of wisdom to offer. Whatever you want to say about KISS, they're very smart people. And so check it out. I found it really interesting. You know, um, if they gave me free tickets, would I go see it? Yeah, if it costs like 300 bucks to go see it, I'm not gonna do it. But uh, it's intriguing either way, especially the part where it can react in real time. So y'all, let me know what you think about this. Uh, the technology out here is getting crazy. We gotta really stand up for real rock in-person events. But for a band that has retired, um, there's gonna be people who are gonna wanna see this. So let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button as always for the latest news and updates here at Rockfeed.